This video shows why the prices change for agricultural products. Many factors influence the price of an agricultural commodity. A market can be thought of as a scale. On the left side of the scale, we see farmers growing maize and storing it in their houses after harvest. This represents the production or supply side. On the right side, we see people eating the maize. This represents the consumption or demand side. The harvested maize is transported from the farmer's side to the consumer's side. We notice that supply and demand are in balance, and the indicator for the maize price marks 100 units for each bag of maize. Now we observe what happens when the people continue to consume the maize while the farmers have not produced any new maize yet. The scale gets out of balance. The maize price goes up to 125 units per bag. Prices go up when supply is lower than the demand. We call this situation undersupply. As it rains, the farmers grow maize. When they harvest it, the price goes down to 75 units per bag because of an oversupply. People continue to eat the maize, which reduces the oversupply of the crop. As supply and demand become equal, the price goes back to 100 units per bag. A new growing season of maize arrives, and it doesn't rain much, so the maize harvest is poor. Maize consumption continues steadily, but there was not enough maize harvested to meet the demand. The maize price increases to 200 units per bag. Since the price of maize is high, some people decide to invest in maize farming. Next season, the maize harvest has increased due to more maize farmers. Due to this strong oversupply of maize, the price goes down from 200 units per bag to 75 units per bag. Now we notice some changes on the demand side. A maize factory is built to produce animal feed. The animal feed factory buys a lot of maize and causes the maize price to go up to 150 units per bag. A trader decides to buy cheap maize from a neighboring country and sell it in his own country. This extra supply of maize causes the price to level out between both countries. Now we notice that some rice traders come from overseas and offer rice to the local maize consumers who are happy to buy the cheap rice because maize is expensive. Some maize consumers become rice consumers. This causes less demand for maize because they now consume rice. Many factors influence the price of an agricultural product, such as crop supply and demand, the weather, the consumer's choices, the new uses of the product, situations in other nearby countries, and substitution of other crops. A farmer wants to know how the price of his crop will change. The farmer wants to know the best time to sell and whether he needs to sell or store. A farmer should be aware of all the factors that affect the supply and demand of his crop, as these will influence the price. Farmers must look for information about the current status of the market. This can be done by relying on market analysts and marketing advisors, who can tell the farmers about the market situation and the market trends. This will help the farmers make good decisions about how to sell and store their crop as well as what to produce next year.